Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Jewel Johnson and I'm currently preparing to go on my first contract with Royal Caribbean as a dancer aboard Spectrum of the Seas. Today we'll be doing a packing with me video because I have a lot of things to pack and only two suitcases and one carry-on. All the videos that I've watched told me to minimize, minimize, minimize. They say I don't need as much things as I think I do, but I still have a lot of things to pack. So if you want to see what I'm packing for my contract, then this video is for you. Today I also did my nails for the second time in my life and I'm so happy about them. So if you hear random clickies, those are my fingernails. They're very, very satisfying. <laughs> this is so this is all the things that I have to pack and over here are the three suitcases I have to do so. I'm gonna start off by packing my smart casual slash evening attire and I have about three extremely long dresses two shorter ones, a pair of dress pants, and some elegant tops. So I actually lied, I have two dress pants that I'm packing. One was completely black and this one is multicolored and I love it because I can wear it with a variety of different tops. So I can wear this with black, with white, with red, with blue. It's very versatile. So after I lay down my first few pieces of clothing that I would not like to fold or roll, for all the rest of my clothing, what I love to do to save space is to roll it into tiny, tiny parcels and pack it into the suitcase. So let me show you how I do that. I forgot to mention, but I just packed all of my casual tops just to, you know, be in my cabin and or whatever. And now I'm gonna pack two pairs of jeans, not too much, and one pair of shorts so I can wear them interchangeably as well because we don't have that much space in the cabin. And these are my pair of shorts. Now we go over to athletic wear and I'm starting with my shorts. I have a lot of them. It's a good bit because I will be in athletic wear every day. So I just packed all my workout attire for the bottom and now we're gonna pack the workout attire for the top as well as two leotards because you never really know when you're gonna need a leotard. To swimsuits. I usually wear one piece swimsuits so I only have three of them and one of them I bought specifically because it's one piece and long sleeve. As a cast member I saw in my contract and I know that tan lines are very frowned upon so hopefully this will prevent me from getting any noticeable tan lines. One thing I've heard and read everywhere is that you can never have too much underwear. For my nightwear, I have two pairs of short pajamas. I also have one more, so really I have three, but I saved one to go in my carry-on. Sweatshirts and sweatpants. If you know me, you know that I absolutely love sweatshirts. I can never have enough of them, but for this contract, I'm only packing two, a black one, my black IAMT hoodie, and this one that I got at Myrtle Beach. Now I'm gonna pack my sweatpants. I have two pairs, one gray and one a darker gray. Socks and bras. If you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe it really does help boost my channel and it's free back to the video 
I just packed all of my clothing into the bottom part of my suitcase successfully and now for the top of my suitcase I have two little zips I put sanitary items in there and I also have to put my hair products I made sure to tape them so that they don't spill in my suitcase and I will also put them in a bag then I also have items for the bathroom toiletries such as toothpaste toothpaste toothbrushes and toothpaste of course some razors some soap some it's kind of like a loofah but for your hands and some fabric softener I also have Tide Pods floss nail polish not well because I have this I don't know if I'll use it but yes I have nail polish wig caps wig caps are essential for dancers and singers a mirror to do my makeup some conditioning caps just to not get my hair wet in the shower or whatever some hair products so I have a lot of woogies and hair bands as well as a lot of eyelashes because I will be needing them can't forget my bonnet I bought a new bonnet today well my mom bought me a new bonnet today so I'm very excited to wear it so here I have some things to put in my carry-on you know just a few extra clothes and some pajamas in case of anything as well as a bonnet can't forget my bonnet here are some compartments to put things in so here I can put like makeup or little knickknacks on my desk in my cabin and here this is a shoe a shoe rack you can hang it on the back of your door I'm so glad my mom gave me this before I left here are two caps and this is my electronics bag so I'll have everything electronics speaker ring light for videos and other stuff like that in here this will have to go in my carry-on Tide pods two pairs of open toe shoes because I just love them and I don't know where exactly I'll be able to wear them because I know we're supposed to have closed toe shoes as well but I brought them just in case because I absolutely love them here I have my makeup here I have all things medicine and vitamins fun fact aboard with Jordan Jordan says that she orders vitamins but she is not ever able to get them past the security so I made sure to have enough to last me a very long while here I have zinc B complex vitamin D3 um, women's daily vitamins I have an eye gel because I do wear contacts and I hear that your eyes get dry I have lots of vitamin C chewables and one box of contact solution just until I get to the ship I can always order more when I'm there here I have my water bottle and this is like kind of a thermos here I have my Ladukas, can't forget my Ladukas. Also another pair of heels and a pair of running shoes. I have this close to shoes, it literally goes with anything. I love it so much. Here I have my masks. We do get a weekly quota of masks, so I'm told. I have some pictures here to stick on the wall of my cabin and some magnets because I heard that the walls are magnetic. And here I have my diary, my Bible, can't forget my Bible, and two books to read. All the rest of books will be on my iPad, downloaded. Here I have my documents. I was advised to keep it in my backpack, not my carry-on, because sometimes your carry-on gets checked in, and then when you reach to the country that you're traveling to, you don't have the documents for immigration. In the back here, I have all the things that have to be taped so that they don't spill while I'm traveling, all the liquids. So shampoo, conditioner, cream, hand sanitizer, nail polish remover, shaving cream. Have to have pepper sauce. I mean, what Trini doesn't have pepper sauce? And hair products and toothpaste. So that's what I'm packing to go on my first contract. I'm hoping that it's not too much and I'll put a list right here showing all the things that I packed and a list of what is specifically in my carry-on. for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was beneficial to you and I'll keep you updated on how much I packed if it was enough or if it was not enough if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it's free and it really does help boost my channel also you can turn on the notifications bell to be alerted when I post my next video 
Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to see my travel vlog from Trinidad in the Caribbean all the way to Singapore in Asia. See you next time. Bye!